Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back today. I'm so excited to show you this recording motion capture with anything, any footage at all, with an Android, with an iPhone, with a DSLR, with any phone, however you capture your footage, you can motion track from it now. The software is called Marionette. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I really love it. I'm gonna break today's video down into three sections. First is showcasing and demoing some animations that I recorded with the Marionette software. Second, I'm gonna break down how to create your own animations to capturing the body with marionette to a full body and face animation. And then lastly, I'm kind of going to get into why I love marionette so much versus some of the other AI tracking softwares. I'm just going to walk through why I love it, why it works for my workflow and the cinematics that I like to do and use. So let's jump into this. Here are some demos I recorded that are kind of showcasing and testing out the marionette body tracking. Hi, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel. What do you think? Now that we have seen some demos and I've kind of talked through an intro a little bit, let's jump into Marionette and process our body animation that we recorded. First thing we're gonna do now that we're in here is open up our footage. So let's go ahead and select our footage. All right, here we go. So here's my clip. I'm just gonna play through this real quick. Uh, this is me here with my face motion capture rig on. And the first thing you'll notice, I do a T pose there. That is crucial um, that you should have that in every clip that you are going to motion track. You need a T pose to start it off. Um, and then you can do your motion. All right, so I don't wanna have all of this extra stuff here at the end of this clip. So I'm just going to set the out point here and then I'm going to go to the top right where the T pose is and I'm going to set the in marker. All right, next I'm gonna go up here to the calibrate button and I'm gonna click this, which is now calibrating the T pose. All right, now the next part is just to lay the selected clip into the timeline and it's going to automatically begin to process the motion capture. Just gonna speed up through this. Okay, it's all finished here. So now we can see our clip. So here's the motion. We can play through it, looks pretty good to me. So we'll click on this little arrow to make sure that we have enabled, we are tracking the body, fingers, and wrist, as well as cleaning up the foot pose. Then we're gonna select clean here and let that render out for a while. All right, now it has input foot locks, et cetera, et cetera, cleaned everything up for us. So let's go ahead and play this animation and see what we're working with. Now we have our finished clip here in our timeline and you can see all the different um, poses, you know, all the leg locks and hand locks, etc. So next we're gonna click here up on the menu system and we're going to select the export menu and we're gonna make sure that uh, each animation is in a T, the first animation is in a T pose. I have all of these enabled here and I'm gonna select export. Now the FBX sequence is exported from Marionette. And there we go, that was it, it's so easy. So now that we have our FBX, let's go ahead and drag it into Unreal and make sure you click import animation. Let's go ahead and open our animation sequence here and here's our animation we just recorded. Bing, bang, pow. Looks great. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and create a new level sequence. Let's open up the level sequence. Great, now that we're here in our sequence, let's go ahead and add our metahuman, Eric. We can delete these control rigs. So now that we have our metahuman, Eric here, we have to retarget our animation we just recorded to the metahuman skeleton. So to do that, we're just going to right click on the animation sequence and select retarget animations. 
and select the metahuman skeleton here, whichever one you're using. For me, it's the medium narrow, and then search for your sequence that you just exported from Marionette and imported into Unreal. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. Yep, fingers are working well. Auto retract is doing well. All right, let's go ahead and export this. Okay, actually before I add the body animation, I'm gonna add an audio track layer right here and select the audio track from my live link face capture. Let's expand our timeline real quick. And now I'm going to select the body animation that we just retargeted toward the metahuman. And then next I'm going to add this uh, MetaHuman's live link face capture that I recorded as well. Yeah, and there it is. That's, um, do I have to play it? All right. And there we go. I'm just gonna skinny this up towards the camera real quick. But yeah, that's our animation that we uh, just recorded with the face and body motion capture taking place with the face and body. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So I think Marionette is a really powerful software. And first of all, what I really love about it is that the motion capture takes place offline. So technically, besides just having the license to the software, um, everything you know connecting to the cloud, everything about the program is offline. So all of your rendering takes place locally. As you've seen, one of the parts that I love so much about Marionette is how you can chop up and slice the clips and you know and, and lay them in. One of my biggest problems with competitors such as Move One is basically when you're recording on the phone you have like 10 seconds to record your take right and when I'm recording cinematics with actors or takes like there is there's something to get into the role within and then okay perform within 10 seconds like you need time to build into you get into the role and what's so cool is with marionette is you can shoot as much footage as you want you can cut the exact parts that you want to have motion captured and you know cut out the rest and that's why marionette is so useful for me because i record a lot of takes i mess up in a lot of my takes a lot of the time so i have to be able to specifically pull out okay i want these sections mocap no i don't want this part okay that was a good take let's pull that out so the ability to edit them in the software like an nle editor um, is incredibly powerful and so useful so i love it it's just such a better process for an actor or for a creative it feels more like i'm working around the performance versus the performance is working around the motion capture if that makes sense also i recorded all the footage that you see in marionette today on a really bad a6400 sony digital camera that is not very a good quality camera across the board in my opinion it's incredible how good marionette worked with the footage that it was given from the sony that little sony camera that i recorded my body animations in so it's a really powerful software and the offline editing the nle let me reiterate this is all just a single camera setup yes if you want to get into more lengthy professional records then you can get you know multi-camera and you know but this is just me in my bedroom doing mocap in my bedroom so if that's your goal to set up mocap in your own house and you don't have a massive studio, this is how to do it in my opinion. But yeah, I love this software. I think it's super powerful. I hope this is useful for those that don't have iPhones and just want to record their footage on whatever they can, throw it into Marionette and it will process that motion capture for you. I hope you guys learned some things. I hope this was helpful. All right, thanks everybody.